Once upon a time, every American kid was an auto mechanic, an inventor at work in the family garage. Bill Bolander got his start just that way. Well, this is one of the uh, Blue Flame Line 6s that uh, was in the uh, 1940 Chevrolet that my father and I used to work on. We went down to my grandfather's farm in Kansas and pulled an old 53 Studebaker out of the wheat field and I drove that home and, you know, that was my first car. So, you know, I had to, you know, I began to work on that and that, I guess, you know, steered me into, into the automotive industry. This, folks, is Campus Case in Canada. For two weeks every year, it's home to us, Saturn engineers. Today, Bill Bolander is the real-life engineer behind this Saturn commercial. An algorithm technical resource leader at General Motors Powertrain, Bill helped develop Saturn's award-winning traction control system, and he actually went to Capus Casing Canada to test it. We thought it'd be nice to provide a way to protect the customer against the vehicle possibly losing control in snow and ice situations. Yet, we wanted to provide a high-value product. By modeling the temperature of, of the catalytic converter, we can control the amount of spark retard that we use to control torque and, there, and thereby the traction. So what it really did was enable us to, you know, to provide our customers with a, a low-cost but very effective traction control system. Bill's work on traction control is only one of many contributions to Saturn. His innovative ideas have produced a series of patented inventions that significantly improve powertrain performance and enhance fuel economy. We came up with a system that was adaptive. I mean, literally, the engine learns what's going on and can then avoid knock in the future. We use a, a sensor on the engine that, that actually senses vibrations in the engine block due to knock, which is a, a, a phenomenon in the combustion chamber, and then we can retard spark uh, if that occurs. Regardless of the fuel that the customer buys or the ambient conditions, the engine will learn, you know, what's required and, you know, to prevent any damage, but as well as to increase performance of the car and increase uh, fuel economy if you do choose to buy these, you know, these higher octane fuels. The trick was to make it work on our cars without costing a bunch of money. Bill's real-life work process is not altogether unlike the advertising fantasy. We start with the physics behind the problems that we encounter with engine control. You have to make assumptions and sometimes those assumptions aren't right and so we find ourselves going from, you know, a theoretical evaluation of what's required you know, implementing these things in software, putting them in the computers on the car, and then and then driving the car. And we need to, you know, drive the car under all the varied and extreme conditions that we know our customers will. And that's really where most of these inventions and innovations have come from, by identifying problems and trying to improve them, you know, to to not just meet but even exceed the expectations of our customers. Developing innovations that make American-made cars increasingly reliable and competitive in the world market is Bill Bolander's special talent. An initial element, of course, is creativity. To be able to have a vision of seeing how systems and devices can be improved or defining what new systems and devices are required. Bill displays an understanding and a depth of those multiple elements that many times uh, have to be balanced in order for the idea to eventually result in a consumer benefit. I liked learning about math and the sciences. You know, I found that it was much easier for me to, to grasp and understand these concepts if they were related to some real world situation. So by the time I graduated from high school, I knew that I wanted to be an engineer so that I could use the math and sciences to improve automobiles. I had the uh, privilege of being Bill's supervisor when he was still an undergraduate at GMI. And he came on into our aluminum engine development group and it was there that uh, we first came up with the concept for the Cadillac uh, limp home approach. What we were looking for was a way to protect the engine and the customer from what can be severe damage to their engine when, say, a road hazard takes out your radiator and there's a sudden loss of coolant. We achieve this by reducing the number of cylinders that are running at one time, specifically by shutting the fuel off to those cylinders. 
and uh, when it does that, those four cylinders that aren't burning fuel actually cool down as the air is pumped through them, and uh, then they alternate and switch back and forth from one bank to the other. And that allows you to drive for really, uh, what, up to 50, 60 miles, but uh, you're still able to move and get to service. This camel system is so adaptive, it can travel 50 miles in desert heat without taking... Bill's limp home invention is now an advertised feature of the Cadillac North Star system. The scope and depth of his innovative work has earned him a series of General Motors coveted Boss Kettering Awards for engineering excellence. Less than 1% of General Motors engineers ever get an award like this during their career. Bill has gotten four of these awards, two of them in the last two years. Bill exemplifies a segment of professionals who focus their creativity skills at both devices and systems that are required by today's society. Innovation and invention uh, are what lead to those clever solutions to meet the demands of the consumer. I think often you know, the ideas are the easiest part to think of something that you could do to solve a problem. But actually proving that idea out and doing the testing that's required is a lot of teamwork, but very fulfilling for me to actually have had part in a product that is accepted in the marketplace and people love to drive. <laughs>